looking for an identity to campaign on as the midterm elections are getting closer. Many are questioning the brand for the Democratic Party as well as the Republican Party. It's really on both sides. One California paper releasing a headline reading, quote, California Democrats could defeat themselves in the upcoming elections. Here now is brand master Bruce Turkel. Turkel brand CEO Bruce, it has been way too long. And I'm calling the crisis hotline right now for 2018 because it strikes me as we head into this campaign, we had this season in 2016 where you had these two phenomenons on both sides. I mean, you know, whether it was, you had the surprise, you had Bernie Sanders and you had Donald Trump and neither of them in the beginning were supposed to have a snowball's chance in Hades. And then they both came, surged as these phenoms. Yet it almost seems like no one learned anything from that. And that politicians are scared and they're like racing back to what's safe as we head into the midterm. Get, break it down for me. So it's two in the morning, the phone rings, and yes. they say, what do you do, right? Okay. Yes. So let's talk, let's talk the overall, and then we'll talk about each party. Whether you believe that a fish rots from the head down or that the leader's best qualities are applied to a company or an organization, the important thing to understand is that leadership creates the brand. Virgin okay. yep. is Branson, Starbucks is Schultz, Apple was Jobs, now it's Cook or Ives. Right. So both of those parties need to understand that. So if it's the Republicans calling in the middle of the night, you hang up and you say, there's nothing for you to rebrand. You cannot rebrand. Your party is Trump. Yeah. Like it, dislike it, irrelevant. Trump is the face. Trump is the power. Trump is is the GOP. That's the way it works. Yeah. Very different than if I answer the phone in the middle of the night and it's the Democratic Party because in their case there is no face. When it was Obama was president there was a face. When Gore was the top guy there was a face. Even Howard Dean. But today there's no face. And by the way you cannot build a brand by what you're not. So the fact that they are not Trump or they are anti-Trump is not enough. It didn't work when Nixon said I am not a crook. It didn't work when Clinton said, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. It will not work if the Democrats say, yeah. we are anti-Trump. That's not aspirational. It's not inclusive. It's not positive. So what do they do? I mean, Bernie Sanders was a surprise phenomenon on the left. Do they follow in that mold? Do they prop him up? Do they try to be similar to that? What would you suggest? Well, I would suggest that theoretically, yes. Whether it's Sanders or not, I don't know the answer to that. But what they need is a charismatic messianic figure they need a face that you can apply, appeal to the to the base and that you can apply to the brand if you think back and you can okay. remove partisan politics think back to any party that's successful there is a face a leader a person with a sword yeah. on a horse on the monument so i think what the left is afraid of is they can't decide should that person be Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren, who do inspire a lot of people to give money mm -hmm. to come forward? I mean, Hillary Clinton keeps coming out of the, you know, back from the dead, sort of, to try and it seems like that's not going to work. So, so do they go with one of those two people, or do they try this, like, sort of younger, fresh face, somebody who's a little bit more moderate, who's more modern? Um, you know, I mean, what do you think, if, if you had those two sort of molds, to well, go for what do you think would work better let's let's look at what you said that in the last election these two guys trump on the one side sanders on the other came out of nowhere yeah. if they had followed the tried and true then ted cruz would have made it or jeb bush would have made it to the end but trump came and obliterated them yeah. and there's a lot of reasons why we've discussed it you and i quite a bit but yeah. part of it was the power of the brand yeah. so when you say should it be warren should it be sanders i would say to you again forget about your political leanings right. where do you see a person that makes people say yes that's who i want to follow that's who understands me mm -hmm. that's who cares about me i don't see that person mm -hmm. and i'm sure there's a lot of democrats hoping that that person is discovered pops up is created because that's what's needed yeah um well maybe that's why they gravitate towards oprah um towards michelle obama i mean it sounds like what you're saying is it, we've almost cycled into this new sort of I, I don't know, age where it's not about the politician anymore. You almost need like the celebrity candidate. Well, I would say I would change that a little. Yes, you're exactly right. Except I would say it's not about the issue anymore. 
it's about the manifestation of the brand. I mean, you can see with yeah. Trump, just in the last couple of days, he was for gun control, he's against gun control. It's not about the issue, it's yeah. about the person. So yeah. Oprah, okay. Michelle Obama, we gotta go. yes. Sorry, Bruce, I got so carried away. Thank you so much. All right, Thank we'll you, be right Marissa. back.